and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we will show you how to upgrade or replace the memory in the Mac Mini server. Make sure to watch the video all the way through before attempting this upgrade. As you will see, getting into the Mini is a difficult procedure and professional installation is recommended. See the end of this video for more information. We have gathered the tools listed at the beginning of this video and are working on a soft, static-free workspace. We are now ready to begin. To get inside, we need to flip the Mini over. To loosen the clips holding the top cover on, you will need a small putty knife, which can be found at most hardware stores. Carefully insert the blade of the putty knife between the inner and outer case. Then, gently but firmly, pry out with the knife, which will cause it to detach from the inner clips from the case. You'll hear a series of pops as the clips come free. Carefully work your way around the mini's edges. Once you get to the rear of the mini, the case should be separated enough that you can lift the cover up and off with minimum effort. Inside, there are three antennas that need to be removed. The large antenna on the right has a small clip underneath, which you will need to squeeze to release. Set the spring aside so you don't lose it. You will also want to make sure to loosen the tape holding the antenna's cable to the case. The other two antennas simply lift up and out. These also have springs you should set aside. The antenna in the front left corner also has a piece of tape holding the cable to the case, which should also be removed. Next, we need to detach the SATA ribbon connector. The easiest place to disconnect it is at this point. Simply use your nylon pry tool to gently lift it and it'll disconnect easily. There are four screws you will need to remove to attach the drive assembly from the base. The front left screw is located here. The rear left screw is located here. The right rear screw can be found here. The right front screw is larger than the others and can be found here. Once you have removed these four screws, you can gently lift the drive assembly up and away from the base. It may take a little maneuvering to get the assembly clear. To remove the old modules, simply push out the retaining arms until the module pops up. It can then be removed. Repeat the process for the second module. Align the notch on the new module with the pin in the lower slot, then slide it in at an angle. Once it's in all the way, press down on the edge to lock it into place. Do the same thing for the top module. You are now ready to close up the Mini. Replace the drive assembly, being careful not to pinch the antenna cables. You'll be able to feel the assembly connector slide into place when it's properly aligned. Once the assembly is in place, reattach the four screws you removed earlier. Remember that the larger screw goes in the front right spot. Place the springs on the antenna posts, then attach the antennas themselves by pushing them into place. Don't forget to replace the tape on any cables that had it before. For the large antenna on the right, you may need to squeeze the clip underneath in order to attach it.
Finally, reattach the SATA ribbing cable by simply lining up the connector and gently pushing it in. Once that is done, you may now replace the top cover and push down evenly around all edges until it sits flush.